Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing some really fun projects with all of you. This is my design project for my porch prints. And this time I did some ephemera pieces that you can use either in junk journals or um, snail mail. You could send things to friends. And these ideas were all inspired by well, mostly all inspired by Patricia Viramontes. I will link her channel below. She does some amazing things with book pages. And in a recent video, I saw she was making some kits with, um, you know, book pages, of course. And I just got so inspired, I had to start creating. So let me walk you through what I've done. And as I mentioned, this is all my Porch Prints digitals um, that I've used, plus, of course, some leftover paper bits and... I may have shown you guys many times, I keep a little bit on my desk every time I have a project and I have leftover pieces that I think, you know, may be useful on something else. I keep it there and so I've used a lot of that here. So let me start with the first one. These, as I said, can be snail mail or um, in uh, used in junk journals. So for the first one, I think she calls these wallets. Um, I think that's what she calls them. So I've got a beautiful image from one of the kits, um, some leftover magazine bits, um, some really nice um, unbleached paper, and then this um, fabric butterfly. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that's the layering I did on the front here. Uh, the back, I made sure to leave it blank. So I used a book page that uh, didn't have writing to kind of make that and then you see why I guess she calls these wallets because they look like a little wallet and so on the inside um, she does a lot of layering with laces and then sewing paper um, you know bits so that's what I did there and then on the inside there's a pocket now what I did is I covered all the words with um, leftover paper as well and the digitals from my porch prints because I just didn't want the words kind of sticking out and here it's just a uh, a little tag I made with one of the digitals, a vintage book page, and then leftover file folder piece, made a little tag with some lace. And then on this side again, covered up the words, and then just added some additional ephemera pieces. I just think it's gorgeous to use up all the bits. And with Stephanie's kits, they come with so much ephemera, you guys, like it's just, so much and you know just beautiful pieces that all coordinate together so the next one is very similar just a bit bigger um, again more gorgeous layering from the digitals I've got some lace some of that sewing paper a flower there and then a pocket in the front this one is a layaway tag from Janine's shop at J9 scraps and I will link her below again covered up words with the um, digitals and a lot of these were leftover bits that I had from the digitals and that I used up the back again I added another pocket this one has a vintage book page covering the words and then I added uh, an ephemera piece as well I cut this one up this was a journaling card but I cut it up into a tag and again added more um, page um, digital there to cover words so then when you open this one up see how beautiful it ends up looking again with the gorgeous layering of the laces and that sewing paper the back again I covered words and then added some additional ephemera pieces these would be so fun to make for snail mail my friends like seriously all of these could be sent in a little snail mail pack look how gorgeous that is right and you can see the background I just did a bunch of layering of pieces in the back and then I added that little cute envelope I love this little envelope. And there's that. Next one is again, um, layering of digitals. Um, I did that beautiful butterfly. It's like a fabric butterfly. I added a tab, the back I left um, empty. So, you know, this you can add on a page in a journal and you could do a tuck in the back or in the top, depending on where you want to leave that um, the little tuck spot and then you open it up and I made sure to add something that you could journal on here this is some um, paper from Edith Holden a leftover bit and then I made a little tuck there with some more ephemera pieces look how beautiful that color came out right 
and again covered words with you know additional leftover bits this is a vintage piece and then again more gorgeous layering I just love how these came out I can totally see all these in a journal they would just look fabulous as well this one I made something similar in my last one of my last journals that I made I think it was also for my porch prints um, so I made something similar a little tuck in on the page again more beautiful layering with different pieces the little tab and then this one opens up the same way except the pocket is at the bottom leftover paper bits again you can see I've covered up all the words and then more ephemera bits I think this is so cute there we go oh in the back um, leftover piece from an envelope and then more um, digital pieces this one I thought was super fun and I I think this is something I did not see her make this but I kind of again was inspired by the process so this I used a um, leftover uh, sorry not leftover um, junk mail envelope so I did the kind of layering there and I think Stephanie did a video similar to this that I will link below um, where she was doing some items with um, envelopes and doing just beautiful collaging on them oh my gosh I was so inspired by that video um, so here in the back of the envelope cover you can see that there I made sure to add a piece of the digital so you would see something when you pull out the tag and, and this tag is from one of the kits so the layering here of course was done with digitals plus I believe some vintage um, oh what did I have here uh, vintage wrapping paper and that's what's down there as well and then you open this up now I just have to fix this. Sorry, you guys, just sometimes my mind just needs to make sure things look normal. Um, so here, what I did on this page is I made, let me just move that over. I made three pockets here. So starting with the front, I'll just pull them out so you can see. I've got all these pockets. So you've got the large pocket in the back, center, and then the bottom. And again, all these were layered with, um, you know, some of the digitals. This is a beautiful file folder from one of the kits and I just added that to the top pocket for this piece I just stitched a piece of leftover I think it was from one of my um, paper bags and then another tag and that goes in the front same goes for the other side you can pull out all the pieces in the um, pockets and it's just all nicely layered so you can't even see the pockets if you take things out so another piece from the kit and these are full-on pockets in the front as well you can use the whole thing one of the coin envelopes i just think they're so adorable and then another uh, journaling piece again all these can be added in a journal or um, you know can be used in different projects and then the last piece that goes in the back so you can see how just nicely that looks and then the back of course I, again covered the words as much as i could just layering with some edith holden leftover paper bits etc you can see that there and then the last one that i made is very similar to um, a project that i did a quick tutorial on i will link that video below if you haven't seen it the accordion envelope holder or ephemera envelope i don't know what i called it you guys but this was inspired by lynette um, hi Lynette she sent me some snail mail I'm um, happy mail and um, she included something similar and so of course I've been making these like crazy um, so this one again um, is so much easier because the envelope is already kind of made for you with one of Stephanie's kits the I think it's the shabby rose folios I think that's what they're called I will link everything below so what I did is I of course did some embellishments you know kind of layered a few pieces to just give it a, a different look but I love how she designed these because they're all fully finished beautiful and if you print them double-sided then the inside is also taken care of but I did another little kind of ephemera holder this one I made with book pages so um, you can see just how versatile these are and I've got you know more projects coming up with these as well so inside this one i just tucked an envelope from one of the kits i just love her designs my friends and so the next one here just one of the file folders or yeah i guess it's the file folders love those designs and again you can see how nice and easy you can kind of 
load these up for your friends or you know add them to the back of a journal etc and then here are the just more ephemera pieces so it, i just i didn't load this one up but i just want to show you how you could add pieces to it again this one was even easier than the last one because the envelope is already basically made for you um, all you'd have to do is cut it up and then embellish it if you want to or not because it already looks beautiful Okay, so hopefully this will work out and you guys can see what I'm doing. I've got a bit of an overcast day today, so the lighting might not be the best. Uh, and I have a lot of lights in here to try and get a better lighting for you guys. So for this one, um, I figure I would show you how to make this one because it's a little different than I think what I've seen Patricia make. So I'm using, um, you know, kind of junk mail envelopes, some book pages, and some of the um, pieces from my porch prints, the ephemera that I have, as well as I'll try and use some of the stuff that's in my bin as well. Um, and I will try and just kind of, you know, walk you step by step. If I happen to not be chatting, I will kind of do some sort of, um, you know, writing on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing, um, just in case I have to mute the volume for whatever the reason. Okay, so to get started with this one, I, um, I did a book page and then I did like two pockets within it as well. So the way I did that is grab yourself, um, you know, your book pages. Sometimes I do like to trim them and make them kind of a little bit more even, but you don't have to do that. And I know one of the um, pages, I didn't do that to it. I kind of left it, um, you know, kind of raw on the top because that also, you know, looks nice sometimes. But for this particular one, I will be doing that. So I'm just grabbing... I don't know I think there's like four book pages here and the reason again I decided to cover the text is because I don't know what it says and I don't want any surprises in you know reading something after I've started kind of um, crafting I will link um, you know any of the tools that I use I'll try and link them below for you guys because I know sometimes I get asked what I used and that sort of thing so I will try and link it below in case you have questions about what I'm using so the first thing I'm doing and you know what I'm just give me a second I forgot to get um, on my work desk I always like to use some sort of just leftover paper because I don't like to mess up my desktop so I've got my book pages and I'll take two of those book pages and what I'll do is I'll glue them together so that it makes it a little bit sturdier. You don't have to do that. And you know what? Maybe I don't because I'll be kind of adding things. So no, I won't do that to this particular one. I'll use the one page and fold it in half. Okay, so you take one page, fold it in half. And then the additional page for the pockets, what I did, super easy, you guys, is just folded it and left kind of like, you know, um, a bit in there to make the pocket so now again I'll fold this in half because it's the same length as my other book page I hope I'm in frame and everything's working here and then what I did is I kind of added that to the page so now you can kind of see what I'm talking about here and this is kind of how that's going to take shape so what I do here now is I'll just glue the inside pockets together oh and before I make a boo-boo I'm this is my glue that I love to use um, I will link this below as well I'm just going to add glue to the edges so the two bottom the two the bottom and the side here because it will be a pocket so I can't have it fully glued onto the page and this is supposed to again be like a fun project so if you know if it's a little bit off like center and not fully like aligned not a big deal um, if you know if you guys are okay with that I'm fine with that sometimes sometimes I'm not so not a big deal this is supposed to be just fun to reuse some of these pages and make some you know kind of ephemera little holders and what I'm going to do here is just add a little bit to the center because I want the pocket to also be glued at the center so now when I fold that over You'll kind of start to see what I'm talking about taking shape. Just put this aside for now. And you kind of see what, uh, what the pocket already looks like, right? You guys can see what I've done here. So for the front, 
um, take your envelopes. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. So you take your envelopes and you pick, you know, which one you might want at the front. And as you can see here, I already have a nice real coffee stain on this one. Um, and so I'm kind of just lining it up to see where, you know, it's best suited to add the um, piece. And I think I will use this one because this one I opened fully and I don't like the dark on this one. So this I'm going to just let the um, inside of that envelope kind of peek through. So again, I'm just going to grab my cutting board and I'm just eyeballing this here just to see. Um, I'm just trying to get the shape, sorry, the size of what my envelope and page are like. So the page here, just in case you want to know, it's just a little past a five and a quarter mark. And if I want to just kind of add my envelope, what I'll just do is kind of just trace the, um, not trace it, just uh, use my pencil and just kind of, you know, eyeball where I want to cut the pieces so that it kind of fits onto my page. And what I'm doing now is just cutting that up. And I apologize if the camera shakes, but uh, this is what I have to work on on my desk at the moment. I find that uh, it's easy to use this uh, Fiskars cutter because it's so easy to move around. Okay, so as you can see here, what I've done is I've cut the envelope to size. And because it's, um, it's still kind of closed from how I opened it, just the bottom needs to be sealed. I'll just add a little bit of glue to the portions that you know I need to close up. And I'll add some to the bottom just to seal that off. But I could probably also seal it off with what I'll be adding um, when I collage on top of it so that it kind of does a better seal. And I'm, I don't know, I just, I love the idea of repurposing things to use in our work, right? There. And that's kind of what it's going to look like. So, I'm just going to glue for this particular one because I left the back of the envelope on this one. The other one, I kind of took it off, but I'll show you what I mean when I'm done gluing it. So I'm just going to glue on three sides because I want the original uh, pocket from the envelope. And also, oh, just take that out of there, Liz and just kind of adding that to it. So you can kind of see how that is kind of forming the same shape, right? Okay, so you've got your center. I've got to glue my top pockets here now, just while I'm looking at it. And here we go with this one. I'll add a little bit to the center. And you could always um, trim like the center. So what I mean by that is I could have always just kind of cut the center and then, um, you know, kind of made it less bulky in the center for my pocket. But for this particular tutorial, I just felt like it was fine the way it is. And now the fun part begins where um, I'm kind of looking at Oh, you know what? Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about that after. But for now, uh, but for now, I'm just going to see what pieces I think I can add to the front here. So I'm kind of liking this. And again, eyeballing it, as you can see here. And this is what Stephanie kind of did that, oh my gosh, I was so inspired with her video when she was doing her um, envelopes because she just ripped pieces off of it. And I thought, genius because now it looks it just looks a little bit more I don't know what's the word my friends you know just a little bit less perfect right so I'm just going to cut off that little edge there and then because um the way I trimmed this I'm, I'm kind of wanting to do a little bit of distressing and again I apologize if I'm all over the place I wasn't thinking I was going to do a tutorial for you guys. I thought I was just going to link um, the channels of where I'd seen it. But then I realized this is one of the ones that I kind of just did from the inspiration. And so I wanted to show you guys. I'm kind of combining two people's work into 
um, one here. So see how that, oh, that looks nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue that on. And here I'm just showing you the base of it, okay? You guys can decorate the rest however you want, but I wanted to show you just the base of how I am, um, how I uh, wanted to decorate the front pocket because as you can see it'll be so much easier for you guys to just add your own things to the inside and your own ephemera etc but here I just wanted you to see how I am kind of doing it here and I'll leave a link to these I love these little brushes of course my distress ink that I like to use as well I'll link everything below if you guys just in case you guys are interested in any of that stuff now I could make this sort of the same pattern which I don't mind, but let me just grab my other pieces. Hopefully I won't make a big mess looking for them. Um, I've got some other little ephemera pieces that I could probably use. And again, I'm using just digitals from uh, my porch prints, just things that I have sort of sitting in my little folder. And I'm thinking that I have sorry my friends just as i said i wasn't really planning on doing the uh, tutorial oh wait there's a piece here maybe i kind of like the way that looks but um hmm this is what happens when you're not 100 percent ready for a a um tutorial I'm kind of liking that. So see, this is like a leftover from my little bits that I was mentioning to you guys with my um, my magazine bits. So I'm liking that. I'll add that. This is just from a magazine cutout. And again, I'm just kind of doing this to just quickly give you guys an idea how I've made this. I'll distress this later in case I want it distressed. So see, now you can see that. And then I'll cover, I'll use something to cover up the... Um, the uh, additional piece there and again I'm just kind of fumbling through my um, ephemera bits here I'm kind of liking that maybe I've got just some you know leftover things here and there okay let's see what I come up with here reusing items is fun you guys oh, I like this you know what I will add that or yeah, I'll add this. It says wild tomato on it. Maybe I'll add it this way, this way, or that one doesn't have a lot on it. I like, I kind of like that, but hmm, I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of feeling this a little bit more this way, and then maybe I'll add another piece there or something. So just a few different layers. I just don't want to cover up the window too much. I like the window kind of peeking through, of course, because that was the whole point of using the um, the envelope, right? And let's see, let's see how that's going to look. Again, I'll distress the whole thing afterwards if I feel like it needs it more. And I'm kind of liking that, but the reason I'm hesitating is because I want a piece that kind of has a straight edge and then it'll kind of i'll show you what i mean i'll show you what i mean like this right so now you've got um kind of a bunch of layering happening but i don't mind that that's okay i'm okay with this i just want to cover up that big red spot up there see okay hopefully i was filming and in camera the whole time i was doing this i hope i hope and I, like I said, I, what I loved about the project that Stephanie did was the, um, the whole ripping of the pages, just that spoke to me so much because I think that it just gives it a, a nicer kind of shabby chic feel to it, you know? All right, so we've done our cover and I'm just distressing a little bit. You don't have to distress, but you know, why not? It just gives it a, a nicer kind of feel to it afterwards. Okay, so you can see that there. And then, um, I don't have a tag ready, but um, I might just make one out of this one. And again, it's just cutting up my pieces to sort of fit inside the pocket. 
and I apologize again I'm thinking I'm just cutting sort of maybe like a quarter inch from each edge and then this way hopefully it will fit in my um, in my little uh, pocket there so let's see how that's looking and this is just a, a journaling card from the kit so now I've got there we go that fits nicely in there see and um, it sticks out a little bit because I did kind of um, close off the bottom so if you wanted to make it a little bit shorter you could just take off a little bit of the bottom and then to shape it I think I showed you guys before and now I don't know where I put it there it is I keep just a little um, a little bag with different size tags because I like the idea of the different sizes of the um, the uh, edges here and so I just kind of use these as templates my friends easy peasy lemon squeezy and I don't have to think about it too much see now you've got tag shape and again we'll tuck that in there and you can see now that that's looking if I grab my other piece like this isn't it awesome so now we would just go in and decorate our pockets and you know just add your paper pieces that you want and then start gathering your ephemera and um, cover up the back if you guys want to see me do the entire thing let me know and I'll continue this but I thought I would just show you how I did the initial um, part of it because it's just so easy so fun and you're basically just reusing a bunch of pieces that you have lying on your table after a project all right thanks so much for stopping by if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials and more videos sharing snail mail ideas and ephemera let me know anyways thanks so much for stopping by